All right, no. So welcome back, guys. No, sa ating lecture one, ah, uh, transmission lines part one, sa ating transmission media and antenna systems na class, no. So ah, uh, today, no, we're going to wrap up, no, our discussion sa ano sa lecture ah uh, one part one, no. Ah, uh, the part two is already uploaded, guys. No, in your in the lecture notes, so you may want you might want to ah uh, read them, no, ah uh, para sa next week. All right, no. So uh, last week, guys, no. So if you can still remember, uh, can you summarize? All right, hindi naman summarize, no. But can you give, no, uh, things that we have learned so far? Ano ani mga natutunan natin, no. So konting recap lang, no. Ah, uh, before we proceed sa uh, sa next lesson natin. All right, ano yung mga naalala nyo, no? Na pinag-aralan natin last meeting. So anything that you can remember no so kindly type them no in the chat anything that uh you can remember no from the previous week's lecture okay types of transmission lines so we have different types of transmission line based sa kan based sa number of conductors no saka sa kanyang uh, geometry no so meron tayong coaxial cable meron tayong parallel wire line meron din tayong balance and then balanced transmission line so what else no ano pa ano pa yung mga napag-aralan natin okay we have uh, primary line constants secondary line constants actually yung secondary line constants hindi pa tapos no so iyon yung tatapusin natin for today session okay so lump okay may ed yun pare ah lump and distributed parameters all right so that's good okay so all right no so yun yung mga napag-aralan natin last meeting okay so uh <laughs> okay characteristic impedance bumili ng suka no all right no okay <laughs> oh si Ay de Mesilio yun di ba oh bumili no so skin effect yeah we also study that all right so uh, as a review guys no yung ibig sabihin guys no uh Uh, secondary line constant no so these are parameters no that dictate diba the way that the signal travels in transmission line all right so one of the most important things sa pag-aaral ng transmission line is yung tinatawag nating ano guys what we call the uh, characteristic impedance right so characteristic impedance importante siya dahil dapat ano ang equal sa kanya for maximum power transfer can you still recall ano uh, bakit mahalaga ang characteristic impedance? Characteristic impedance is important because ano ang kailangan na equal doon. Okay, dapat yeah. Okay, no? So the characteristic impedance should be equal to the load impedance, no? Ah uh, para magkaroon ng tinatawag na maximum power transfer. Because pag hindi, no? So not all the power will be absorbed by the load, no? And ayon natin ng ganun, guys, 'di ba? Ah uh, parang halimbawa, no? Ah uh, 'di ba uso ngayon yung ano, mga uh, delivery, no? Kasi nga ah uh, We are in the we are in pandemic, no? So most probably lahat kayo naka-experience ng uh, mag-order, right? Oh, so kaya rin umorder ka ng uh, kaya rin McDonald's yan, no? Tatlong burger, pagdating sa iyo isang burger na lang, no? Oh, kasi yung Zeo is not equal to ZL, no? So that's the idea. All right? So now let's talk about the propagation constant. Ano yung propagation constant? So basically, no, propagation constant, okay, ginagamit to no to express the attenuation and phase shift per unit length of a transmission line. Okay? So bale uh, ito yung formula niya, no? So, makita nyo naman dito, guys. So, here's the equation, no? Uh, for this one. Okay? So, we have square root of R plus J omega L times G plus J omega C. So, it's similar dun sa characteristic impedance. Pero si characteristic impedance kasi ay divide. Okay? So, you divide the two for the size of O. Now, here, uh, you multiply. Okay? Now, Ah, uh, syempre this is a complex number. So ang result niya ay may real part at may imaginary part. So for the uh, real part, okay? Ang tawag natin dito is the attenuation coefficient and the imaginary part is the phase shift coefficient. Okay? So now let's talk about attenuation and phase shift, no? So phase shift very easy to understand. Phase shift, pag shift ng phase, right? So pag wala phase shift, zero degrees. So kapag ka uh, Uh, nag-negative, 180 degrees, di ba? So, kapag uh, nag-zero, 90 degrees. Mga ganong klase ba, no? So, phase shift. You know that, no? So, pagbabago ng phase. So, it's very easy to understand. 
no? So nagkakaroon pala ng phase shift, no? Uh, yung signal natin as it travels, no, in the transmission line. And it is given by the phase shift coefficient. Now, on the other hand, attenuation. What is attenuation, guys? Okay, so uh, can anyone na uh, from you guys na makapagsabi, no, what is attenuation, no? So I think you have studied that, no, in the principles of communication. Okay, signal loss, very good, but uh, medyo may kulang, no, uh, with regards to that. Okay, so signal loss, that's correct, pero ano kaya yung mas complete, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, tama naman, signal loss, pero medyo vague kasi in general, eh, no? pag sinabing signal loss. So ano dapat yung mas uh, proper na description sa kanya? Okay, weakening of the signal, yeah, signal loss, weakening of the signal, so that's the same. Decrease of energy, yeah, tama yung mga yan, pero may kulang kayong uh, nababang, hindi nababanggit. Yeah, very good. Ayan, tama, tama. No? So tama yung sagot ni Gideon. No? So that is uh, weakening of the signal, signal loss, decrease in signal energy over distance. What I'm trying to say is, as it travels farther away from the source, pag humina ang signal mo, that is attenuation. Okay? So halimbawa, no? uh, nagsasawal pa ako dito sa bahay namin. No? You cannot hear me no? unless uh, I speak no? in the microphone and in over the internet. Right? So kunyari, nagsalita lang ako dito. Hindi niyo maririnig sa bahay niyo yun, right? Because as the signal travels farther away from the source, okay, humihina siya. Nagkakaroon siya ng signal loss. Humihina yung signal, nagdi-decrease yung energy, okay? That is attenuation, no? So actually, attenuation is one of the transmission impairments, no? So ano pa yung mga ibang transmission impairments, no? Actually, we have, uh, ilan ba? Uh, four. Yeah, we have four different transmission uh, impairments. So attenuation is one. Ano pa yung tatlo, no? Uh, quick review lang no sa inyong principles of communication. Ano yung mga transmission impairments? Kumbaga parang what prevents the signal from being transmitted? Ano yung mga ganun? Attenuation is one. Ano pa yung tatlo? Tatlo ba o lima? De, at, uh, apat nga lang. Okay, noise. Noise is one of them. Okay, ang ano pagkakaiba na attenuation sa noise? Attenuation, bumababa ang signal energy mo kasi nagta-travel ka malay sa source. Noise on the other hand is a uh, unwanted signal that appears in your uh, channel. Okay? So, all across the channel, guys, okay, nagkakaroon ng noise. That is an unwanted signal. So, that is one of the transmission impairment, no? So, bukod sa attenuation and noise, ano pa? Oh, very good, no? Uh, Pababero. Iba talaga pag si Pababero bumanat, eh, no? Oh, laging tama, eh, no? Hmm. Distortion is another one. Okay, distortion, guys. Okay, distortion on the other hand, guys, ano naman siya, no? That is a transmission impairment because of the device itself. Halimbawa, uh, may error sa transmitter mo o kaya may uh, mali dun sa circuit mo, no? So that is distortion. Okay, guys? So, uh, parang ano siya, no? transmission impairment because of the deficiency in your device itself. Okay, so yun yun. O, one last. Delay, not really, no? Latency is not a transmission impairment. Kasi, when you say delay, na-receive mo pa rin siya, right? Delay nga lang. Okay, very good, no? Interference. Interference, no? Interference is also correct. That's the four transmission impairments. All right? Pero attenuation lang yung pag-uusapan natin dito. By the way, ano yung interference? Ano yung ibig sabihin na interference? Similar sa noise, guys, unwanted signal din siya. Kaya lang, ang interference is uh, a legit signal na pumasok dun sa channel mo. Gets nyo, guys? Uh, yung noise kasi, unwanted signal eh. Yung interference, uh, another signal siya. Legit signal na nanggagaling sa ibang source, pero humalo dun sa channel mo. Kaya nagkaroon ng interference. Okay, so gets nyo yung difference? Uh, yung noise talaga, ayaw mo nun. Yung interference is uh, parang galing, parang kunyari guys sa radyo, no? uh, kung na-experience nyo yun, uh, may maririnig mo rin yung kabilang station. no? I don't know kung na-experience nyo yun guys. Uh, dalawang station para nagsasalo. Okay, so interference yung tawag dun. Okay? Yeah. Yung may nasasagap kang weak signal, no? Ayan, from other sources. So, that's interference. Now, ang pag-uusapan lang natin is attenuations. Uh, uh, attenuations. Attenuation, no? So, solely because it travels farther away from the source, humihina ang signal level. Bakit ganun? No? So, uh, you will learn that no? pagdating natin sa radio wave propagation. Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na inverse square. No? Uh, I'll be explaining to you guys yon pagdating natin doon. So, yun may focus ha, today, attenuation. Pero yun nga, marami tayong mga transmission impairment. 
cards. All right. So either you use this and you'll be able to get alpha and beta, which is the attenuation coefficient and the phase shift coefficient. By the way, guys, no per meter siya. Okay. Uh, pero depende sa unit ng R, L, G, and C yan. No? So kung unit ng, di ba, ang R, L, G, and C, distributed parameters yan, ang unit nila, tinan nyo dito, naka per meter, di ba? Oh, so ibig sabihin, yung uh, ano mo, yung alpha mo and beta mo is snapper per meter and radians per meter. Uh, in the event, guys, na kunyari, ang unit ng R natin o unit ng L ng GNC natin ay hindi per meter, per certain unit length. So that would be the unit of your alpha and beta. Okay? Uh, one last thing is, anong unit mismo ng uh, tawag dito phase shift coefficient? The unit of this is per meter. Bali, unitless per meter kasi siya. Gets unitless per unit length. Okay? So, bali, per meter. Yun lang yung unit nung gamma. Okay? Now, guys, uh, if you want to calculate uh, alpha and beta directly, you may use these equations. No? So, dalawa. No? So, may equation tayo para sa alpha. We also have equation para sa beta. No? So, either you use this one, yung nasa taas, o gamitin nyo yung direct formula na nasa baba. Okay? Uh, yung beta, pag, uh, hindi mo natin pag-uusapan right now, we'll be studying this pagdating natin nung next uh, lecture natin. No? Uh, kasi uh, there's a difference between the wavelength no? na ginagamit natin sa free space sa wavelength na ginagamit natin sa transmission line. No? So you need to understand first uh, the concept of transverse electromagnetic wave. All right? And another thing is, Unit natin is nepper per meter, but basically nepper is uh, another unit no, na similar sa decibel. Okay, so one nepper is 8.686 decibels. Okay, so I think uh, we are now ready no, to answer some review questions. Uh, may kli lang yung meeting natin right now guys, no? sasagutan lang natin itong dalawang problems na to, and then you will do your seat work. Okay, uh, for the rest of the time, you might want to read the lecture notes na in-upload natin. Okay? Okay, game. Let's try to solve this one. Alright. Uh, check ko pala no, kung nasa notebook nyo na yung seat work, no? Wala pa. Hindi, ito, no? Yung seat work number 2, ha? Nasa, nasa notebook nyo na, guys, no? Ayan, chinek ko lang. Seat work number 2, ha? Ayan, no? Ito. Ayan, ito yung sasagutan nyo, ha? Mamaya. Anyway, game, let's do this. So, from the propagation constant, determine uh, the values of the attenuation and phase shift coefficients. Okay, distributed parameters are R, okay, equals sa uh, 0.1 ohm per meter, G, 0, Siemens per meter, L is 76.8 nanohenry per meter, C is 22.2 picoparad per meter. Assume an operating frequency of 750 MHz. So, first is, let's calculate for omega, guys. No, So, omega natin is 2 pi F. So, 2 pi F, alright? So, we have 2 pi, alright, multiplied by F, which is 750. Ayan. So, para hindi mahirap, guys, yung result dito is store nyo sa A. Ayan. So, lagay nyo sa A na variable ng calculator nyo. So, hopefully, marunong kayong gumamit ng calc yung mag-store, no? So, bali, si 2 pi times 750 times 10 to the 6 is store nyo po kay A. So... Nice star na, guys. Alright. So, our formula, sulat ko lang yung formula ng gamma, no? So, the formula of gamma is uh, square root of, actually, hindi yung gamma, no? Delta pala yan, no? So, mali yung sinasabi ko. Iba pala yung gamma. So, delta is R plus, ano, guys? R plus uh, J omega L, okay? Multiplied by G plus J omega C. Alright? So, ganun lang yung gagawin natin, guys. So, we have square root of, okay? So, what is our R? R is 0.1, so we have uh, 0 0.1 plus J. Yung omega natin nasa A, so you can just type A. Ayan, A lang. Okay, guys. And then uh, our L is 76.8. So we have 76.8 times 10 to the minus 9. All right. Tapos plus, uh, multiply pala by G, which is 0, plus J. Tapos again, no, yung A, di ba, na-store nyo yun sa calc So, A na lang yung type nyo. Okay, multiplied by, okay, C. Our C is 22.2. Oops. So, we have 22.2. 
times 10 to the negative 12. Okay, guys? Ayan. So, lagay nyo lang yan dyan. Okay. So, pero syempre, pagka tinipe nyo sa calculator, ang gagawin nyo, tatype nyo muna to sa loob, no? Demoiverse kasi yung gagamitin natin. Type nyo sa loob, store nyo sa C. Okay? Then, uh, after which, pag na-store nyo na, so, uh, if you want to calculate for the propagation constant, so it is simply equal, guys, saan? So, we have uh, the absolute value of C, okay, raised to 0.5. Okay, angle uh, 0 0.5 times argument of C. Alright okay, guys. Ah, sige nga, pakitulungan ako. What's the value of our propagation constant? So, bali yung nasa loob ng square root, itype nyo yung sa calc nyo, tapos store nyo sa C. Tapos, absolute value of C raised to 0 0.5 var angle, uh, quantity 0 0.5 argument ng C. So, this one is shift to 1. If you're wondering, no, paano siya mapalabas? Okay. Var angle ay shift to 3. And the absolute value is shift HYP. Hi guys. Ah, sige, game. Anong makukuha niyo? Okay, so we have that one. We have 8.5 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, plus uh, J times 6.1531. Okay, tapos ang unit natin, di ba nabanggit ko kanina, per meter. Okay? Uh, pero hindi yan yung tanong, right? Ang tanong sa atin is alamin daw natin yung values ng ano, uh, attenuation and phase shift coefficient. No? So, bali ang gagawin is you're gonna get the real part and you're gonna get the imaginary part. No? So, hence, no? so ang parang pinaka-final answer natin, guys, would be, okay, alpha is equal sa 8.501 okay times 10 to the minus 4 okay neper per meter okay and yung beta natin is equal to uh 6.15 no okay radians per meter Alright guys, no? So, any questions po? May tanong po ba? So, very straightforward lang namin gagawin, no? Direct substitution lang. Okay, let's try the last problem, guys, no? Uh, for uh, today. So, attenuation is the major, is one of the major concerns in the application of transmission lines in communications engineering. Uh, how much attenuation in decibel, okay, does a 100 meter of air dielectric parallel wire transmission line introduce? Assume that R equals 0.1 ohm per meter and Z equals 300 ohms. So, kung ito yung given sa atin, guys, may given ka ng characteristic impedance, most probably, you'll be using the alternative for, uh, alternate, ano yun? Uh, alternate formula no for calculation of alpha. So yung alpha natin ay equal guys saan? Uh, naalala pa yung kanina, R over okay, 2 ZO all right, plus G ZO over 2. Okay? Yan. So ganyan yung ano natin, no? Most probably, ganyan ang gagawin. Uh, kanina, yung direct formula yung ginamit natin because uh, hindi tayo given ng characteristic impedance. Okay? 
And even, uh, like, yuk, I mean, kapag ka ang given sa iyo yung R, G, L, and C, most probably the problem expects you to use this formula. No? And if the problem gives you uh, the value of R, the value of ZO, the problem expects you to use this one. Okay? Game. So R, so what is our R? Given naman guys, 0.1 ohm per meter. So very important yung per meter dito because this will dictate the unit of our final answer. Per meter din yung sagot natin. Okay? Divided by 2 ZO. So we have 2 times, anong characteristic impedance natin? 300. Okay? Uh, ohms, 300 ohms. Alright, tapos plus G, uh, which is zero. Pag hindi, pag hindi binigay yung value ng G, zero yung assumption natin. Okay, zero is 300 divided by 2. Okay, so syempre wala na to guys. Yeah, no? so pakicompute nga. No? So what is our alpha? No? So pakitype, no? 0.1 divided by 2 times 300. What will be the value of your alpha? Okay, type nyo lang mismo. 0.1 over 2 times 300. So, oh. Yung isang section, yung 3A, ewan ko ba kung ano mga pinagsasagot nila. Yung type nyo lang sa calc no? Don't do anything yet. You just type 0.1 over 2 times 300. Ano mga kuha, guys? Oh. Comedy yung 3A nung nakaraan, eh. Okay, eto yung nakuha, diba? So, we have 1.667, okay, uh, okay, times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, neper per meter. Alright? Ayan. Type nyo lang yung mismo formula. Yung mga nakalagay dito, wag nyo muna pakialaman guys. No? Yung may 100 meters na sinabi, yung may decibel, wala muna ganun. No? Basic lang muna tayo. Okay? Just <laughs> follow the formula. Alright? So, we'll be getting 1.667 times 10 to the minus 4 neper per meter. And that's it. No? That's it guys. Kung ang tanong sa atin is the attenuation coefficient. However, no, if you read the problem, uh, ang tinatanong sa atin is what? Uh, we are being asked, no, what's the attenuation lang? Iba yung attenuation sa attenuation coefficient, ha? So, yung attenuation is yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, no? Uh, the weakening of the signal, no? Or the signal loss, no? As the signal travels farther away from the source. So, ibig sabihin, it's dependent on the length, correct? So, we have a formula here para doon. So, yung attenuation natin is simply equal, guys, saan? Simply equal dun sa attenuation coefficient multiplied by the length of the transmission line. Okay? So, dun po gagamitin yung ano? Dun po gagamitin yung 100. Okay? Ayan. Alright, guys? So, in this case, we have, okay, what is our alpha? Di ba nakuha na natin? Ito nga yung value niya, no? So, yung 1.667 uh, times 10 to the minus 4 neper per meter. Oh, you just write it here. Okay? Multiplied by, what's the length of the transmission line? 100 meters. Oh. Ito yung next step, guys, no? Wala muna uling gagawin kakaiba, just simply type this one. Okay? 1.667 times 10 to the minus 4 times 100. Oh. Nagulat ako doon sa section A, kung ano pinaggagawa, eh, no? Multiply nyo lang, guys. Hmm. Tapos sabihin nyo sa ayaw mo ako kuha. Okay, so we have what? We have 0. Point, okay, 0. 0.0167 nepers nga lang. Okay, that's still correct. Oh, that is correct. Kung ang tanong is, we are asked to solve for the attenuation in neper. However, we are asked to solve for the attenuation in decibel. No? So, you just get the attenuation in decibel. Right? Attenuation in dB. Okay, is simply equal guys sa yung 0. Point, mm, kopyan nyo lang to. Kung ano yung uh, nakuha natin kanina, like this one. You just copy this one, guys. Okay, multiply by the conversion factor from the previous slide. No? So, ano yung conversion factor natin, guys? 8.686 decibel, okay, in one neper. And as you can see, no, you can cancel units, no? So, cancel, cancel. No? So, what will you be getting? No? So, what is our final answer, guys? Attenuation in decibel. Ayan. So, pa-multiply lang. Pa-multiply lang mismo. Itong 0 0.0167 tsaka yung 8.686. Okay. So, we have 0 0.145 dB. Okay? Ayan. Basic lang, right? Hmm. Step by step, hindi nakakalito. Tama? Alright. Okay? So, don't cram anything, no? Uh, I mean, don't cram everything in one single line of computation. Di ba? Kaya nga step by step yung process natin, no? So you should do it step by step as well. 
Okay. All right. No, so we have here, no? Ayan, 0.145 dB. And that's our final answer kasi yun yung hinahanap. Okay, guys? Is everything clear? Naitindihan naman yung uh, problem kung paano natin siya sinolve and everything. Any questions po? May tanong, guys? Okay. All right, no? So, uh, yeah, that, that, that concludes our uh, lecture one, part one. Uh, we will not start part two yet, no? So, next week na natin start yung part two, but ano, no? Uh, for the rest of the period, kindly do your sit work, no? So, here's your sit work, guys. So, eto, no? Yan, here's your sit work. So, kung paano ginawa yung sit work one, like, check natin kung ginawa niya. Yan. Okay, yan, ginagawa niya. Yan, parang yan din. All right? So, ganun yung gagawin po. Okay? So, do it in the, ano, no? Uh, seat work uh, number two. Okay? So, same uh, process. I mean, yung gagamitin nyo na yung mga natutunan nyo all throughout the lecture. Okay, right, guys? Alright, no? So, uh, any questions po before we end the class? May tanong po ba? So again guys, naka-upload na yung ano no, naka-upload na yung uh, lecture notes natin for the next week's lecture. So kindly review it guys no para uh, smooth sailing yung next na lesson natin. Okay? So may question ba? So let me stop the recording no. Stop ko na. <laughs>